Good day, trader. So I've been in Greece for the last um, two weeks, uh, but I have been looking at the markets, and it's not been looking very good. But just to, to go back before we get to business. So uh, in Greece, I stayed in uh, Athens for a couple of days. Then we moved to an island called Thessaloniki, where uh, there was this beautiful little house that we uh, rented for a couple of days. Then we moved back to Athens. It was absolutely beautiful, and I got... A winning recipe for tzatziki. So if you don't know what tzatziki is, you can Google it. Um, and I'm going to send you the recipe. It's so simple to make. I mean, in fact, it took me only five minutes, and it's really delicious and and really healthy. So I'll send it to you at the bottom of the description. You must let me know uh, what you think, because uh, you know you, you're. It's not just business that we talk. We we establish a relationship together. So. Uh, another thing is that we've moved offices, uh, actually downstairs from where we were, in a nice, uh, intimate, uh, smaller office space because we, we had so much space that was unnecessary. So if you hear you know, a bit of noises in the background, the reason is because uh, we're quite close to, to everybody. But now, besides the fact, um, what I want to do today is a little bit informal. I just want to go through the entire watch list. It's going to be technical only, I'm not going to talk about fundamentals, I'm not going to talk about politicians and, and, and polls as I normally do. So it's just going to be technicals just to see what is lining up and where your next trade could come from. So as you know, uh, when I send out trades, I can tell you whether it's going to be a high probability, medium probability or low probability. And normally with the low probability, I don't even consider them. And that's why I send out fewer trades than... Um, what a normal trader takes because I, I want this to be profitable in the medium term and uh, I really don't want you taking too many losing trades and by too many losing trades I'm saying like seven or eight in a row all right it happens very very often so I try and avoid that so let's go through the watch list uh, and one more thing is that I've got a new software so literally I can go through half an hour to an, an hour or whatever time it takes to go through this watch list and tell you which are lining up and which aren't and give you other information. Why not? This service, I just believe, should just be benefits and features and lots of little, little tidbits that uh, I can add onto the service, right? Because it's mine. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's go straight to it. So Anglo... Uh, has been making higher lows this whole time and like last time what I mentioned is I'm waiting for that breakout above this level Okay, so it's about 160 Rand and 85 cents once it breaks out then what do I do? You know because there is this cut and handle with a very strange handle, but it's almost fizzled out So if it breaks out it might just go back in so it's not something that I really look for Okay uh, let's go straight to Angler Gold. So, you know, I took gold off my watch list about three years ago. Angler Gold, Goldfields, DRD, it was just very difficult to trade. But it looks like um, gold is starting to show some volatility again, which is what I look for. But you can see that this is very difficult to trade. There's nothing going on. And these gaps... Are, can be disastrous if it goes the other way or the opposite side to your trading. So I try and avoid stocks that have gaps. Okay, We have Aspen. There is a big gap going on. Now, I have to admit, I haven't fully been reading the news in South Africa. I'm still kind of um, in, the, in the Greece way of thinking. But I was looking at charts. So and fundamentally, it'll just take me about a day or two just to read up everything and what's going on because something must have happened here. So, so it was at 362 and now it's at 331. So that is a, a very large gap. And I mean, if we put our stop loss here, you would still be in your trade at a loss further, more than what you even expected or, or would have uh, risked. So, you know, it can be a little bit dangerous, but that's why I look at uh, certain levels called the guaranteed stop loss, which will get you out and the market maker or the broker will take the risk uh, instead. Okay, the African rainbow. Fortunately, it hit the stop loss, 
we did well by taking it because uh, it could have you know it kept going down and it could have continued now it is in nowhere land completely sideways so caught me off track but many times it does in a year by the world it's made this beautiful uptrend and now it has entered a bear market even though it looks like it's quite high what I want you to take note is this line over here okay is the level between the bull market and the bear market so even though it's around where the the bull market was because it broke below it's broken the momentum and it could show the next wave down okay so you have a, a recessive wave and you have an impulse wave so these are corrective waves that could happen in the next couple of days nothing to do all right Barclays nothing it broke out of its bull market unfortunately it's been a very difficult year for trading on the JSC and the last time uh, I had this difficult year was around 2011 but the thing is was I was taking a lot of low probability trades which was disastrous it was loss after loss after loss after loss and only eight months later eight months uh, the market turned up and I was taking I was taking the um, medium low and high probability trades and then I made up for the losses uh, in a short time it was about three months which wasn't bad um, but those eight months could have been avoided because I was just taking trades after another and you cannot control the market environment okay then we have the W formation over here so this is uh, this is uh, BID I think it's one of the bidvest ones because there's BVT which is bidvest and then there's BID which is another bidvest but now this is broken out of the W formation I just have to find out um, where would we put our stop loss where would you put our take profit uh, and is there anything going on lower down oh yes bidvest uh, uh, they broke up into bidcorp and bidvest my apologies you see I'm definitely in holiday mode still all right so I avoid stocks that still have these huge gaps but in this case it might have broken out and it could go back to um, to these high levels 360 330 but I will leave it at that until it sorts uh, out the trend this is bulletin sideways so resources um, it it looks like it wants to have an up leg but not just yet it's still going through that decision mode and until it breaks to the upside or downside we won't have established trend right basil reed so that's broken to the downside but like I said last time I'm not a fan of these stocks because of these huge shadows or another term wicks all right um, and I mean there's some dojis over here where the open is equal to the close uh, we've got a dragonfly doji which is where the open is equal to the high which is equal to the close and then you've got this huge shadow so I avoid stocks like this and you know what I've thought about in the last couple of days and I thought Red Ox Storm Trader must not just be about tips and trades even though it's, it's very important that we send out the same trades but these videos is where you can learn so much information uh, you know just about the stuff that I've, I've been learning over the last 13 years that it all comes back to me so it's almost like uh, little seminars <laughs> in, a, in a way so I hope you enjoy it and if, if it is too much talking or any of that remember I'm flexible so let me know at the investsclub.co.za let me know what you want to hear more about or less about or what I must get straight to the point or these videos should be back to five minutes or they or these are great that uh, there's a lot more information okay and you don't have to watch the whole thing at once if you want to listen to 10 minutes and then you know take a break get a coffee or something up I mean obviously videos I'm not going anywhere so uh, you can watch at your own discretion all right then we've got DRD as I said it's off my watch list DSY is completely sideways I have not written any stocks yet to trade uh, EOH I'm not a fan of the movement I call this an unhealthy chart and the reason is because of these high volatility candles all right uh, Xaro has broken to the downside it might be the fact that we need to start looking for shorts as you know I'm not a 
big uh, shorter in the markets. So I'm, I'm optimistic by nature. Famous Brands continues to go up. I've developed a new, uh, not new strategy, I've been working on it for about six years, but basically it's to follow uptrends when it hasn't broken out of an uptrend, but we need to take advantage of the continued uptrend. So I'm going to write FBR and I'm going to uh, send you the reasoning as to you know how, um, how I do these trades, but I, I think it'll be a nice little inclusion to the strategies and obviously Red Hot Storm Trader. All right, so famous brand looks good for more upside. Nothing stopping it. First strand's broken into a, a sideways market. Not a bear market yet because we have lows on this side and it's, it's uh, gapped to the downside. So you want to avoid stocks that have gapped recently. Same with Goldfields. Well, Gil Goldfields not on our watch list. Grinrod looks fantastic. So I'm going to write Grinrod. And next to it, I'm going to say um, it's a W formation. So now we're just waiting for that breakout. And the breakout is around 12 Rand 98. Okay. GRF, nothing going on there. GRT. H-A-R, you know, I might also have to look at a new watch list. Well, I've got th this watch list, I'd use it, but I should also look at, you know, the rest of the hundreds of, of uh, stocks to see if their momentum has changed in the last couple of years. So even though I use a very strict strategy with uh, trading, the flexibility is what is going on in the market are these stocks becoming more conducive to trade and is the environment looking better? Are Liberty Holdings still just going nowhere slowly? Lewis sideways uh, on a, in a very gradual downtrend. Lonman. Lonman, let's see. There's something going on with Lonman and it's one of the first patterns I ever um, studied when I was around 16 years of age and it's called the symmetrical triangle and the symmetrical triangle is where there is a triangle that is symmetrical between the upper part and the lower part and the apex is towards uh, a horizontal level okay so if it breaks out to the upside this could actually show some upside to 4661 Lonman I'll write that down as symmetrical triangle. That could be the next trade. And because we're looking at daily charts, you're not going to see drastic changes in the next couple of days. So that's why I, I go through the entire watch list to see if there's anything lining up. A another thing about the symmetrical triangle is that there's two types of symmetrical triangles. There are continuation patterns, which is an uptrend and then it forms a pattern which is a symmetrical triangle and then breaks out according to what the up the the previous trend was so it's continuing the trend the reversal would be if there was a downtrend then it was a symmetrical triangle then it broke to the upside those are medium to low probability trades continuation symmetrical triangles are high probability trades sab nothing um, let's see shop rights it is forming an inverse cup and handle. Not a very nice handle, I have to admit, but it does meet the requirements of a cup and handle. And as a, a risk averse or a, a hedge strategy, ShopRite might look good for a short in the next couple of days. And then we have Woolworths, which is going pretty much nowhere. So, there's the watch list. Uh, you've, uh, you've gained a lot of information today, and you've gained a Greek recipe, tzatziki. I hope you enjoy it. And let me know how it goes. You know, s take your photos, uh, send them uh, to, uh, you know, phone our customer service 086 4365. Send them your photos, send them anything. I want to see, you know, what you're doing and, uh, and uh, how things are going with you and uh, how trading's going. And for those that have just joined, obviously you have 90 days to decide 
whether this is for you or this is complete rubbish or, or anything like that. I'm, I'm really curious. But because we've been doing this for the uh, last eight years, I've been doing it for three years for Red Hot Storm Trader alone, I'm very happy with the progress and uh, how, how you guys have um, been with the, with the service and the understanding of the realities of trading and that it's not... Um, it's, it's not the easiest thing on earth, but it's not the most difficult if you know how to manage your risk and uh, manage your trades on a, on a weekly or quarterly basis. Because I like basing the, um, how the service goes or how my trading goes in about every year. And like I said, I've only had one losing year in the last uh, many couple of years. I think since 2011 I had a losing year because I was taking all those low probability trades and now I've moved to medium to high probability so it is a little bit changing but change is good and we are going with uh, the market the movements and we cannot predict what the market's going to do we can only probability predict as to the direction of the market so have a fantastic day and I will uh, speak to you next week